So we were talking about ethers. Ethers have two carbon chains attached to an oxygen. And so then we have possibilities for isomers. So here are illustration of some isomers. Um, because these are ethers that contain four carbons. And so you can have two carbons on each side, or a carb one on one side and three on the other, or you can do one on one side and a branched three on the other. So the isomerism comes about from um, variations in the, in the individual alkyl groups that are present. Uh, functional group isomerism is where you have, um, again with isomers, the molecular formula is always the same. But a functional group isomer is where the functional group is, is different. So let's look at dimethyl ether and ethyl alcohol. So dimethyl ether is the common name and that's got two methyl groups attached to the oxygen. So that's oxygen in the middle and a methyl group here and a methyl group there. And then ethyl alcohol would be ethane with an alcohol group on it. Now those are both C2 H6O. But one compound is a member of the ether group and one is an alcohol. So the all these names for the different kinds of isomers can be a little confusing, but the names are trying to be descriptive. A skeletal isomer is where the chain of carbons is different. A positional isomer, the functional group is the same, but it's in a different place. And then you have um, a functional group isomer is where you have different functional groups. So if we compare this one down here, ethyl methyl ether and propyl alcohol, these two are functional group isomers because they have different functional groups. This is an alcohol, this is an ether. Propyl alcohol and isopropyl alcohol are positional isomers. The position of the functional group is different, but they're still both alcohols.